my name is Talifa Nungube. Um, I am 21 years old and I am a first year at We Think Code. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, I'm Venus Chappy and I too am a first year at We Think Code. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you guys, the only question that I have is uh, how was your first semester at We Think Code? Um, I think for me personally, right, mm -hmm. and I think being in the same team as Venus, I think we can both speak on the same, <laughs> on the same struggles, but uh, without saying too much, it was heavy, <laughs> extremely heavy. Yeah, you know? I agree completely. Like heavy in a sense that I think we were prepared, but it almost felt like nothing could have prepared us exactly. for what we got here, mm. you know? Also just like in general, like coding isn't something you can fully, fully prepare yourself for. Yeah. You're prepared for the institution in itself, sure. but the workload, it was mind blowing to me, but also just a great experience overall. Mm. And I think one other thing is, I think I didn't completely understand why it was a peer to peer and why there weren't any teachers and why mm. we didn't have any classrooms. But once you jump into the freaking code, in, and you realize that you are not able to finish your projects mm. without your team around you. That's very like, true. there's no way you could finish without your team. Mm. Mm. Because, I mean, for me personally, coming from, obviously, I think every South African child in yeah. general, coming from an environment where you are taught and then told to tackle tests and yeah. projects, um, I came in here with that mindset. Mm. I wasn't prepared to kind of hang on or lean on to other people for help or just to yeah. go about like the True. work you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. so i think being in this industry you have to work with other people mm -hmm. and I'm, i fully am prepared for that going forward because of this first semester you know i think i don't know about you Tali, but yeah. i i don't know if i felt comfortable asking for help before this now i am more than happy yeah. i am more than happy to say Tali. Are you done with this one? Mm. Could you please just come explain it to me? Yeah. And I don't feel dumb. I don't feel less capable. Mm -hmm. I just know that, okay, I am maybe struggling with this. She might have understood it much quicker for whatever reasons mm. she might um, understand concepts in a way that somebody else might have explained better to her. And so she will help explain that to me. Yeah. It's just a passing on of knowledge. Yeah. And it's not <laughs> as if it makes me lesser than it just means that you know you are working as a team and you're coming to a to a cohesive solution together yeah mm. and just to project on that mm. what i've learned is now making myself open to presenting myself and mm. my knowledge to other people yeah i didn't trust myself oh i know with bringing yes. my knowledge to other people and maybe helping other people that mm. was difficult because you doubt yourself first you yes. know what i mean before you think other people doubt you mm. and i think that's one thing that i've learned is that i am able to help others around me even if it's just a small amount of yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> knowledge but I have something to bring to other people and help him, you know what I mean? Mm. So, I love it, yeah. And I must say, just to add, like, Tali, literally in the beginning, I remember you were like, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, guys, I don't know. And so, I think it was only the third week in, and she was out here helping the subject. And I'd be like, Tali, me too, please help me. And you're doing so amazing at it. Like to think at first you weren't this confident in, mm. in sharing your knowledge and knowing how what you're saying. Now here you are girl. Fun thing. Uh, <laughs> but also just to add on guys, the emotional roller coaster of it all, it's a lot, you know, and I just wanna say to my teammates more especially, I wouldn't have done it without them. I was five to dropping out first weekend. Mm. You know, um, but having just, for example, because our group is just a group of hands, you know, it's just women. Yeah. And to have that strength riding on that, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been here at all. And thank you guys for that. I just want to thank you for that. So, um, uh, hey guys. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Uh, you make me want to change my team. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, no, 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 my team is bad, but I feel like 
Overall, we are all getting to connect outside of just coding. We are all getting to connect to one another in a beautiful way. I love this chemistry. It's amazing. Okay, thank you so much for your time. I don't know if you have anything that you might want to add on. Any word of advice towards, you know, all your experience, your first year? For me, personally, one advice I'd like to give, especially to the black girl child that's mm. sitting at home watching this, mm -hmm believe in yourself no. if you get into or you are put into a space that you never thought you belonged in trust me you belong there mm. trust me you can mm. do it and you have everything that you need to get there like for me right now i have more vision in where i want to go absolutely i didn't think i could put myself even mentally in STEM Yo. environments, you know what I mean? In, in environments where I know, okay, I am a V programmer, and yes. you know, I never thought of myself in light of that. But believing in myself really has helped to bring me to this place. Absolutely. Yeah. And just riding off of the back of that, I think just for anybody out there, especially women though, I do want to send this out to all the women out there. It can feel like when you enter the space, there's that imposter syndrome that will hit you like a ton of bricks. You are gonna feel like, why did they take me? What, did they make a mistake? At what I making a mistake in choosing to come here? It, it, those are questions that will always come up, especially when you hit a wall with your code. It's an error, it's a step you can't get past. It's just, and you'll literally think over 10 times, what am I doing? And you need to have that resolve. Go back to your why. Why are you here? You're here to make a statement and you're here for yourself. So understand that in any point, at any point, lean on your team. Mm -hmm. Lean on the girls around you because trust me, 110% of the time, they know what you're feeling, mm -hmm. they know what you're going through. So don't be scared to admit it and say, yo guys, I'm struggling. Mm -hmm. Please help me. And talk about your feelings. Like emotionally, it is a roller coaster. Big time. So yeah, I definitely think that's my parting words. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much guys, that's a wrap. Thank um, you. Bye. <laughs>